Hello, hello, all. The stream is starting. Welcome to the stream, Hamburger Killer. Man, this is a really good song. Move things around a little bit. There we go. Hello, everyone. We're back here with the Arachnophobia build, the Arcali's Fang, Ray Spiders, Necromancer. Necrolock. Necromancer Warlock. Using Penance Mark to spawn things. Arcanist Brand to add a bunch of utility. And we have upgraded some of our stuff. So, I've added about 200 ES to the build, which has been kind of nice. Just got grave binds that are corrupted and got a new ring. Helps a little bit with the mana cost and mostly just helps with having more ES because it's nice to be over 6,000. Things are going well since the last stream. Got a little bit of uh, XP. If we're lucky, we'll hit 94 today. Oh, thanks for following Hamburger Killer. It's a pleasure to have you in our community. Hope everyone else is doing well, too. Actually, I should ask, how are you doing today, Hamburger Killer? I'm just going to set up what we're doing for today. Oh, I'll also announce we have a gamble coming up uh, near. I'm thinking near the midway point of the stream, maybe near the end, where we're going to be gambling a. That which was taken, which is basically a charm that is dropped by the King of the Mist, the unidentified version goes for a little bit over 9 div right now. Uh, if you identify it, it will become somewhere between 5c and 200 div. It's a very kind of crazy variable item. So, we're gonna gamble what will eventually probably be 10 div soon on this one jewel and see what happens. But not yet. Okay. We are going to go and farm the King of the Mist today. Now that we have some familiarity with how to spawn him uh, reliably, thanks to Never Sink's guide on the topic, I want to see how much money we can make off of him. I can't do Ellie Weakness, unfortunately. I want to change that, but it's either that or Corrupting, or corrupting Blood. Protection. I really like the Corrupting Blood Protection. Okay, so here's the basic strategy for today. We are going to be doing a mix of two different strategies, actually. We're going to be running Tier 14 Plus maps with uh, the Searing X Arch on them, and that's it. The goal is to go in 
just far enough to activate the Searing Exarch to get progress on it. And every 28 progresses you get, progress points you get, you get a Incandescent Invitation, which is 3 div. And then after we are done that, we go back to the Wildwood and we implement Never Sync strategy for finding the King of the Mist. If we don't find it, or if we do find it, once we're done, we pop out of the map immediately. We don't bother doing the boss. Unless it's, like, right there. No point putting scarabs or anything on it. it they're just going to get wasted. Okay. And spiders. And... Exarch, there we are. Ooh, nice, awaken sections. Always good. Let's go away from that. And the Wildwood. Okay. So for Never Sing Strategy, if you weren't here for our last stream, uh, you basically you head diagonally until you hit a wall or wisp event. Well, there's a wall. Head diagonally from your starting point. So, northeast is the bust, northwest is the bust, uh, southwest. We can skirt the wall a little bit, that's that can that's still fine. As long as you don't hit like a completely solid wall. Okay, well we found a warden, which means that this is not the right area. Anything nice? No rage flasks. Okay. Back to start. Eh. Okay, and now we go northwest. And northwest is a dud too. I'm gonna clear out the rares just for the sake of getting some more XP and maybe some good loot. And then we'll be off to the next map. I'm going to keep transferring the marks between as many things as I can, despite the fact that I don't need to constantly be marking things. Mainly just so that I can get more Vol Souls and uh, Flash Charges from them. Since that's what they give when you have the upgraded uh, Warlock stuff. Yeah, oops. Out we go. And I need to not hit the mic. <laughs> hey, Byro. Thank you. Okay, next map. It may seem like a waste of maps, but a single King of the Mist encounter will recover that, and the, like... 20 fold and the incandescent invitation will also do that so it is good money even if you aren't doing most of the map oh fuck what is with this map fighting oh there's a shrine right there that's why What's my regeneration right now? How about some 1900 energy shield regeneration because of all of the corpses everywhere? Eh, that's funny. Ooh, 100% increased XP ball side area. 
I will certainly stop and grab that. Actually, I should check and make sure that there's nothing crazy on here. Uh, no. Forty-one percent. Let's see how far we get. Oh fuck! Avoid one relic bar key. That's pretty damn good luck. All oh, my poor golems are getting shredded. Forty thousand health is just not enough for them. Not without some more defenses. I might need to get them some more. We'll see. Thankfully, the turtle should be helping a little bit against physical damage, but... Boss? Oh, the boss must have died. Okay. Wow, this was a kind of shitty little ball side area. And we got 2% off of that, which is pretty good for a single ball side area, but still kind of shitty. Okay. Let's see, can we get four tiers of delirium? I doubt it. Oh, well. The good thing about Bog is that at least you have... Oh, Ultra Distant Memory, nice. The good thing about Bog is at least the boss is really close by. You're calling a shiny tabula from the Voidborn Reliquary? I mean, that would be kind of cool. I, lo I love the shiny stuff. I don't really care whether it's good shiny stuff. I just like the shiny stuff. Mm. Sure. I can deal with some less flasks. Okay. Got anything in the Sacred Grove? I always check your groves. Don't have to do them. Just check them to make sure there's no legendary seeds. Oh yeah, we're gonna be really slow because of the lack of blast charges. Oh well. Alright, does this auto-sort somewhere? No, it doesn't. You'll go right there for now, then. Okay, this is map 2. So... So we completed... We had map 1, so I'll just put that down there. This will be map 2. Okay, that's a dud. Give me spiders, please. Come on, golems. Thank you. Oh. Okay, this way is already a dud. Head southwest. Southwest is a dud. Oh, there's a Karn, though, at least. Own of the Soul Devourer consumes something, something, Soul Eater. What was that? Level up to grant you Soul Eater. Cool. I mean, that's better than nothing. Reduce flash charges gain, flask supply, do you have... <laughs> I, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to use my flask again if I do that. Ah, whatever. I already can't use them. Let's 
spiders, please. Thank you. Killing etching. I do not feel compelled. Whoa! We had a very brief flask there. <laughs> yeah, this feels like a complete dud. Okay. Portal out. No point taking the portal back to the map and then portaling out. That was the second map. There we go. Penchable and lightning. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Most of Canada's getting hit with some pretty bad uh, weather right now, so it doesn't surprise me that... The internet's a bit rough right now. Might as well grab uh, the boss while we're here. Flare imitation. Okay. Uh, I think. Okay, I think I can recognize this. It's hard to to keep up with landmarks in this place because everything's so dark. I wish they marked your spawn point. That'd be nice. Okay. Yeah, I think this northeast is a dud. Then there's these things, which my minions are definitely on top of. Oh my gosh, it's impossible to see things with these minions. Yeah, those things. The cardinal direction things. Okay, so this is where we spawned in. You know what, I'm going to use the cardinal directions from this thing. Okay, southeast. Was it Light of Meaning? Oh, that's the fake king. Don't care about him. Southwest. If he's there, then we're not going to see the real king. Hated etching. Okay, that's nothing. Okay, and south. Northwest? Wait, did the portal already pop? I wasn't paying attention? I wasn't paying enough attention. That was map three. We're doing, we're getting an average of one king every ten maps with our strategy. Oh, Einar. Oh. Cool, so I'll have Einar with me for the... for the... a uh, Wildwood. That's what I'm looking for. And can we get the fourth level before we pop out of here? Yeah. Okay. The delirium. Nothing? Okay. Into the wild wood. Oh, 
There's... Is that another one of the skull things right there? I think it is. I can't tell. Hard to tell little things on the ground. Okay, top right is a bust. Is there a bottom right? Not really. Southwest. Bottom left. There kinda is. Kinda. Hi, Ron. Pleasure to see you. Okay, found a warlock. Nope. I should be turning around since I saw the warlock. That's pretty clear indication that we're not finding anything here. Is this where we started? It is so hard to tell sometimes. We started here. Okay. Northwest. Fuck. I thought I got a movie from those. Darn it. Actually, really quickly. Uh -huh, cool. Lurk invitation. Might as well go kill the Dark Star while we have a chance. Not like we have that much XP anyways, and... It doesn't tend to be that challenging. Astral Avalanche? Nope, Solar Storm. Nope, fuck you. Nope. Nope. What is that thing? That is the cover in ash, cover in frost one. Lyric devastation? Lyric devastation. I was right. Ooh. That's looking like a div, maybe, for this well rolled one. Duration of ailments and enemies. No, it's probably a bit less. I'll try to put it in my 99 tab. That's pretty nice, though. That's well rolled. Reduce toe? Odry's no tongue, okay. Or give me an omen of adrenaline, why not? Okay, so I completed map 4, this will be map 5. Grand Ember, nice. Nope, not you. There we go. Covetous Shrine, Massive Shrine, uh, Shock and Freeze. Okay, what's from this? Cool. Okay. How was that? Ah, oh, it's a normal strong box. Oh well. Okay, Wildwood. Okay, little lantern here. Try to use that as my wape marker. Okay, ball. Lantern. Southeast.
primalist. Whoa, okay. And this is why you don't stop without paying attention to what's following you. Yep, no, that's valuable. Oh, so she should be the mark of there being nothing else here. Okay. Okay, southwest is a wall. Northwest is whatever the hell this is. Okay, this is a dud. Temple. Technically, if I don't care about the Syrian Exarch stuff, I can just blast through maps from Kirak as well. Like, it doesn't have to be maps that I'm opening. For the, uh, specifically for the King of the Mist strategy. There we go. Okay. Weird tree thingy. Hope that's enough. Okay, northeast. Fortunately, it's everything is trees here. So it's not exactly the best marker. Primalist. Okay, this way is a dud. Unless they have something special here. Uh, this one might be worth something. I need 800 for it, though. Okay, that's enough. Cool. Let's see how much light we still have left. Weird spiky tree? Or is that a different weird spiky tree? This is the weird spiky tree, okay. Bottom right. Okay, no. Yeah. Map five. I need to remember to keep checking my steering XR progress because I don't want to miss the boss fight that I need to do to get the in incandescent invitation to drop. Uh, it's four shrine effects. It's more than enough for me. Uh, sure, why not? Okay, marker, marker, marker. What can I use? I try to use the double tree here. Okay. It's always so hard to tell where is the starting point and to keep track of it. Or at least it's hard for me. Oh, forest cash. Okay, I guess I'll kill what's here. Yeah. 
Everybody over here. There we go. Okay, those are my trees. Uh, southeast is a dud, southwest. Southwest is a dud as well. No! I hate! I hate those so much! I hate tiny seeker missiles. Those are awful. At least the big ones are okay because you can, like, counterplay them because you can see them, but it's impossible to see the tiny ones. Uh. Not a fan. Okay. Southwest is a dud. And. I think. Where are my trees? Nope, that's too far. Okay, so it must have been back here. Northwest! Nope. Oh, wait, wrong way. Temple Man. It's always a bit iffy at the start, because you walk in and there's always a horde of mobs to deal with you. But once spiders spawn, you're usually okay. This is definitely one of my favorite builds I've played in a while. Sure, I'll take some quant. Why not? And what is this? I'll take more quant, sure. Cool, that's 32% quant and a nice amount of rarity. Okay, so we have a stump there. And we have a warlock. Wait, don't, I should make sure I kill everything first, because I don't want things following me. No little missiles, please. I think that's most everything. Bulky miscreation. Nah. Wait. Where's my stump? There's my stump. Okay, southeast. Hmm. This, no, it's not looking good. Piece is a dud. Man, we went a long way. There's our stump, southwest. Oh well. Oh well. I want to play these maps a bit faster. Maybe I should stop doing the Syrian XR stuff just so I can clear faster.
Uh, should be a second. Come on. Trigger. Ooh, I will take that, though. And I will leave. Goodbye. Uh, excuse me? Uh oh. Oh, it's just a grand ember. It's not that ex that expensive. It was an awfully like excited sound for a grand ember. Okay, Wildwood. Northeast. Why does this feel like early Diablo three hunting for bosses? Not a good way either, just in a this is annoying way. Before they added adventure mode. Okay. Southeast. Another warlock. Frozen Cannibal. No. Frozen Dark Reaper. Or, not Frozen. Perfect. Perfect Serpent Warrior. That's worth 20. I'll do that. Okay. Well, that way it's a dud, since there's the Warlock there. That leaves... Is that Southwest? No, I think that was... Southeast. Map 7. It's gonna go straight in. Okay, northeast is... Dud. I think there's some sort of southeast. What's that? Oh, the breeding. Okay, no. Yeah, I need spiders. There we go. What is this? Oh. The fake king. Don't care about you. Okay. Southwest. I'd love to know for sure if, if the fake king can spawn in a map with the real king or not, because that would save me time if I were to find out that he could not. Nope. That was map eight. I think it makes more sense to trigger the X Arch after. Because I could just teleport out without having to run back. There we go. Okay, now we can go. Need some more maps. Hmm. 
No, I don't want to do physical reflect with my minions. Tears through my golems even faster than normally happens. Oops, this is the wrong map. That is a new map. This is a new map. So this is the eighth map. We should be seeing one soon. There we go. Okay. Is there a northeast? Yeah, there is. Okay. Perfect Primal Thunderbird? 50C! And the Hydra's not worth it. Okay. I need enough of that. Don't really like spending my light on this, but it is 50C. Gotta be enough to account for something. That's definitely enough. There we go. Oh. Okay. Southeast. Okay. That's a dud. And where's the little divot here? There it is. Okay. Southwest. Aw. Use up too much light. Almost oh, there's the boss. That's useful. Oh, perfect. Give me divination scarabs. Ooh. Divination scarabs are good. Maybe I should actually do this map. Hmm. These are only a couple C each, but the actual, like, silver divination ones, the polished ones, are worth something. So I can just compile a bunch of them. Let's see what I can get for Divination Scarabs. I think that's worthwhile. Yeah, that's already enough for a polished one. Another one. That's five. Seven. Oh. Okay, let's bring bring everyone back. Don't don't explode, turtle. I like you too much for that. Oh fuck. Not mean to hit the abyss yet. Okay. Whew. 
I'd love to add the extra, the uh, eyes with extra modifiers thing to my maps, but for the abyss, but uh, unfortunately, I don't have the points right now for that. Because being able to get five and six mod abyssal eyes would be really nice. To get that, I would need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there are still seven points that I can get. I mean, I've done the Atlas, but like, there are other things you can do. Like opening the ver different uh, favorite map slots give you points too. But it would be just barely. Okay, how much are these? About seven apiece. If I upgrade them. About 15 apiece. Okay, pretty good. We have our Thunderbird. We pop a bunch of stuff in. Map 9? Okay. No. Wrong thing. Okay. Let's go to map 10. Oh, there's already one in here. Still have eight ish more map progresses to get before my Searing X Arch, so. Don't have to go kill any bosses yet. Okay. End of the Wildwood. Wait, what? Did I see something? Uh, there's something here, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Don't need a warden. Southeast, there's no southeast. Southwest. No. Okay, so... Uh, there isn't a northwest. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to go back southwest a little bit more, see if there's anything else there. Looks like a dead end, but... I don't... Oh my gosh. Tenth map! Nice! King of the Mist. Okay, is there anything that wants to kill me yet? Okay, cool. Rex of Nothingness. Okay, this probably is not going to work, but I'm going to use all my flash charges, refill, and go right in. I don't know... Yeah, no, that just resets it. <laughs> ah, well. Okay. Spiders, please. Spiders. Spiders. Someone please kill something. Thank you.
There we go. He's at 75%. Hello, my friend. Ooh. I wish I did not get so close to whatever the hell that thing was, because I have a bunch of buffs. Okay, yep. Head this way, head this way, head this way. Keep following. Keep going so that I don't run out of light. Oh, it was back here. I do not want to get consumed by the tide that is going to be following us. There it is. Supermodel Diablo mode. Okay. Keep up the spiders. Oh, wait. Control of dance. Keep moving. Wasn't sure which one it was. Eh. Wait, is he dead? Oh, he's dead. How do I keep getting these? I thought these were rare. Well, they're not a 9-div item because they're common. So, uh, okay. Yeah, see, this is why I keep wanting to do the King of the Mist stuff, because then that happens. Okay. Anything else around here? Probably not. Well, I saw a warden, so there's no there's no suggestion that seeing uh what is this? Huh? Oh, there's just one of those animal spawn areas. Okay. Okay. Well, we've seen merchants, so there's. Proof that there's not, that if there's a merchant, that there still can be a king. Not that there's anything to suggest that to the latter before, but like, I. I try not to assume anything. Ooh, blueprint? No blueprint. All right, Malik Hill. There's a lot of money right here. That's 30 div right there. That's ridiculous. I, I don't understand, because I've killed five, five... Yes, I've killed five Kings of the Mist, and I've gotten four of these jewels now. I don't really get how that just happens. Okay, so we, we are going to gamble one of the that which was taken that come from the King of the Mist here. So this is worth, at this exact moment, 9.3 div, unidentified. It can drop all the way down to 5c if it's not a good one. It can go up well past 100 div, though, if it is a good one. So, it's a huge gamble identifying these. Like, it's much sure money to just sell them. But, what's the fun in that? Okay. Let's, let's see what range this is in, because I'm a bit nervous. This is a lot of money. Oh, thank you, Evan Stowe, for the follow. Welcome to the stream. You got here just in time, because we're about to do a big, very expensive gamble. 
Okay, what do we get? 4% life recovery when you use a flask. Critical strike chance if you haven't dealt critical strikes recently. Damage from your critical strikes not reflected. And wither. Okay. So the damage from crits and the crit recently are a div together. Okay, add in the flask, that doesn't exist. Add in the wither, that doesn't exist. Damage cannot be reflected, okay. Hello, N. It is very hard to check the value of these. Okay, the 4% of life recovered when you use a flask and the 19% wither on their own apparently are 3.5 and, and then the crit ones on their own are div. So I'm going to say this is about 5 div. So we lost a bit of money. That's a bit sad. Oh well. We still have more to gamble though. Just because I'm not as confident with pricing these, I'm just going to put this at 6, and I can always lower it. Beat my first solo king, got a jewel with no cost banners, crit chance on full power charges, and cannot be stunned at least 25 rage. That sounds really good. Yeah, with the uh, the ability to take multiple banners, that would be that would be crazy. And so, yeah, that sounds really good. How expensive was that? And yes, you probably are out of out of uh, luck for this league. <laughs> That's got to be expensive. Five rage for power if you don't have at least twenty five. Oh, oh, that's the um, that is one of the berserker chieftain ascendancy nodes where I'm pretty sure where you sacrifice uh, t you sacrifice rage. If you have more than 25 rage when you use a war cry. Yeah. There aren't that many things that involve specifically 25 rage in these sentences. <laughs> it, yeah, I mean, it's probably that, but who knows? It could also have been one of the. Uh... Actually, I don't know if it can pull from the ascend stuff. Hmm. In any case, we are going to do a Voidborn Reliquary Key, but first, we are going to go on a quick break, because it is very cold here, and I need some tea to warm up. <laughs> so I'll be right back, everyone. Don't go anywhere, because we have a foil unique coming up very soon. Be right back.
Welcome back, everyone. Got some nice raspberry pomegranate tea with honey. I'm not usually one for red teas, but I don't know. The raspberry pomegranate from Twinnings is really nice. I can be a bit of a tea snob sometimes. <laughs> I say while well, drinking bag tea. <laughs> Ah, that's very nice. Okay. Hope y'all are still alive out there. Who's ready to see what is in this void reliquary key? Voidborn reliquary key. I heard they added, like, 900 new uniques to the pile or something. Or nine to unique options, I assume, because there'd be like four colors or five colors for each. Okay, let's see what we get from this reliquary. We can't add anything like fragments, right? That's not crazy. But dear, Ron, I assume you can't add fragments to add quant to it or something. Actually, let's quant, and one thing's only ever going to drop, so that doesn't matter. And rarity shouldn't matter either. Okay, Wordborn Reliquary Key. Let's see what foil unique we get. We already had a guess earlier for a shiny tabula from Pyro. I don't know if anyone else wants to make a guess as to what it's going to be. Before I hit it. I'll give a second for anyone else who wants to speak and guess what it might be. Because it can be basically anything from any part of the game, even the stuff that's limited to specific areas. Which includes the really rare stuff. Okay. Let's see what we're going to get. No, there's no turtles in here. Okay, it's a gold amulet. It's a Bisco's leash. <laughs> or Bisco's collar. That's... That is certainly a thing. Now, isn't it? Uh, the, it is 1C unfoiled. I wonder what it is foiled. Let's see. Void foil variant, any void one variant. Stat filters. Oh no. It's li worth like 2C. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Oh well. I mean, it's only half a div to get Relicar keys, so they're not a big deal, but it's unfortunate that it is an item I will never use on anyone for any reason.
I'm lucky I can get like 5C out of this. <laughs> no, I'm gonna keep it for my... Where'd just go? Am I blind? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm gonna keep it from my unique collection. I wanna replace as many con a uniques in my collection with, uh, with foils as I can. And also, this is not my unique collection. My unique collection's in standard. I'm trying to 100% things, like, get everything from a particular category. I think I only have one, maybe two categories finished. Which, I mean, the main one is the contracts, which is the easy one to finish. Okay, let's see what else we can get up to. I don't really want to run the jungle valleys for this because I like jungle valley. Oh, I do not like grave trough. That's perfect. Let's waste the grave troughs. Oh, and that too. Fine. That's a can't regen map. Mm. That's really bad. That gives me no way to regenerate anything. Yeah, I can't do that. Fortunately, it's corrupted, too. So I can't do anything about that. No, the only mod I can't do. Chance to avoid poison. Okay. Those are all good. This will be map one. Going off to the... Uh... They're going after the uh, King of the Mist again. Going by the math of uh, the uh, charm specifically, we made uh, nine div in one hour. The unidentified charms, I should say. That's pretty frickin' good. Let's see what else we can get. No. Nope. Doodle. Settle. Doodle. Doodle. And eggs. do hope I do not like to death at any point in the stream. <laughs> it is always a possibility in the winter around here. Okay, I'm gonna say that this area is just about done. Yeah. Athos Callus Conflict. Survive an encounter with the Incarnation of Agony without gaining more than five or of death stacks. What the hell is the er, Incarnation of Agony? <laughs> what? <laughs> Was there a boss there I didn't see? There must have been. Okay. Weird. Okay. Oh. Hmm. What? What? What was that? I don't understand. Sometimes I just get one shot and this. Okay, that wasn't a one shot. That was like a four shot, but. What the fuck was that? Lack of luck, I guess? I don't know. A lot of crits. No, it can't be a lot of crits because I have crit protection. Well, I guess I got damage ranged. Oh, I really like Baby Blue as a song. Good song. Like, I can wade into these packs of monsters, but a few fireballs? Nope.
Additional chaos damage? Oh no. Okay, do I need any more Nico missions in 80 plus quant maps? Meaningful Masters. I have already done Nico. Okay, I'm done here then. I need to move my stash closer to my map device. It would make my life easier. Okay. North, east. I'm going to call that a wall. Southeast. No. Southwest. I'm not going to bother with killing a few rares just because it's. I could potentially get something from it. No, I have. I have my money-making strategy here. I should just keep moving. I want to do enough that I can keep up my spiders, but besides that, I'm good. And strong boxes. Now, I've always wondered if the revive nearby monsters with onslaught uh, counts towards. Um, I've always wondered if that gives you XP or not. Like for the uh, the monsters that get revived, like can they drop more items? Can they give you XP? All that. Okay, steering X search. About now. Yeah. Need to not turn that off. Twenty seven. Okay, so I need to run a map that I can kill the boss in now. I got a double progress there, I think. What's a map that I actually like? I do like Jungle Valley, but it's a bit big. Canyon's kind of big. Ah, park is biggish, but it'll be fine. I can get Elemental Reflection. Okay. First comes first. Let's do our wildwood. Okay, that's a very definite wall. Okay, southeast. There is no southeast. Okay, southwest. Nope. Wisp event. Northwest. OK. 
Okay. Time to go to the boss and get our incandescent invitation. Can't believe the incandescent invitations have gone up to three div. It feels like a lot more than usual. Uh, sure, I'll take some awakened sextons from the boss. I have to kill them anyways. So, oh. Sure, they can drop some chaos orbs. Why not? Ooh, fun. Is the boss perhaps in a ritual? No, this is not the boss. That's sad. Okay, well, I'll take the ritual. Oh no, things have physical damage reduction. <laughs> I think I do physical damage with something. Maybe. I need to eat a corpse at some point. That'd be nice. I forgot to do that. Okay, a demon. Oh, that's actually not going to defend against the boss, but whatever. It does an invitation. A sacred grove map. Nice. Fifty contracts. But my loot filters. Very excited about for some reason. Why are you excited about this? This is worth 2C. It is not worth being excited about. Okay, no, none of these are the good ones. Looking for legendary seeds. As always. Ooh, this is a big, this is a hefty, hefty area. Okay. Uh, sure, I'm fine without flasks. Okay, let's do this one first. This one had less stuff in it. We're going to do this one first, and then we're going to do the other one, and then we're going to capture the other ritual in a vessel. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying the Warlock Ascendancy. It is really cool. Okay. How many monsters? Monsters, Thumb of the Imperial, which is that Pro Exile with 108 extra monsters. Nice. Good capture. Bit off mortal grief, that's unfortunate. Oh, I'll defer it. Okay. And then, yeah, there's not much else here. I'm tempted to actually just go back to full clearing maps because. Eh, a lot of the king, a lot of king of the myth so far. <laughs> Even though it is such good money. Oh yeah, I'm also starting to stack up the uh, incandescent invitations. Oh, uh, that's nine div right there. Ritual. Hmm.
Let's do something ill-advised. Let's see. Let's add oak. Some city square people, some reef people. And some more reef people. Okay, so stagnation, which already has ritual altars on it, and then four ritual vessels. Fortune favors the brave. Zering X arch, and I will add Einhar too. It's not very high quantity or anything to the map, but I don't really care. I gave it bodies instead. I just added like three hundred extra creatures to the oh it's stagnation okay i should have rerolled that map <laughs> should have rerolled it oh well okay for our king first uh i need to find you king so you can slay oh that's actually valuable okay, i need just 600 blue Give me some blue. Okay, that's enough. Cool. And this is the spawn point, so bottom right. I need my, need my spiders back, please. Okay, bottom right. Looks like a dead end. Okay, bottom left. Southwest. I need to pick which method of description I'm using for the directions. Southwest. Hmm. No. Dead. Okay. And Northwest, finally. Ooh, Experimental Harvest. This I'm actually quite nameless here. Hold on, I'm being followed by explosions. Okay, let's clear everything out here. So I see the nameless here. I know those can be, like, super valuable, potentially. Is that everything in this area? Anything else want to come fight me? Goat? Okay. Nameless Seer. What do you have for me? So you can just give any random uniques, basically. Brass Dome. Max Roll Brass Dome. That is 30C, actually. Prime Gaze? No. Or Sight? No. Lots of Aziri. Katavas? Katavas Feast? No. A well-rolled Gray Spire. Hmm. This might actually be worth 70. The problem is that everything else is rolled really shittily, except for the max resistances. We have a Dancing Dervish. Fingers Vise. Hmm. I might be able to get more from the Grey Spire, but I feel like I can more reliably get something from the Brass Dome. Hmm. That's most likely going to be 29. Can I get at least 29 from this? You know what? I think I can. I'm going to go with the Gray Spire. Let's 
Spearmills of Harvest and a Nameless Seer. That's pretty good. I'll take that over a Kingdom Mist. For a second, I almost left the map because I was like, oh, I guess we're done here. Because I'm used to doing that. Don't want to get ice nova Thank you very much. Yeah. What's so zappy? No zappy. Oh, there's Syrian X Arch. I completely forgot about it. <laughs> I just saw a blood bomb, so that must be that must mean that there's there must be beyond creatures here that I didn't notice before. Uh neither of these are really good. I guess give cards are probably better. Sipple's Lament. Doubt that's valuable. Iceberg map. Nice. More like a nice berg. No, no one says that. Okay. Ritual me. I guess I should pick this up and at least price check it. I doubt it's worth anything, though. Okay, I see oaks over there. That's part of the reason why that was so hectic. Okay, supposedly that's 10 ish C. I don't like listing things that are less than 19. Not this late in the league. Because it's just usually not worth it to interrupt whatever I'm doing in a map, which usually will yield way more than that. It's like, what's... Whatever, whatever's the price that you're fine leaving a map and uh, doing a trade for is the price that... You should at min like the, the absolute minimum that you should be listing things for. Hmm, no, that's basalt, not granite. I don't want that. Whoa. Weird flicker warning. What are these? Kind of moderately bleh boots. Why are these good? I mean, it's not bad. Not bad. It's just not amazing. Whatever. That that full fit nineteen, see? Who's beating up my carrion golem? Leave him alone. He's just trying his best. Okay. Smoke altar. I'll try and whatever you want to call it. I'll spark. I 
I should have rerolled this to a better map. I do not like stagnation. Which reminds me, I should look and see how many stagnation maps I have to use them for the King of the Mist strategy. Use up all the maps I don't like. <laughs> Since you don't actually have to go very far into the map itself to do the thing. Mm -hmm. Duplicate scarabs, sure. I'll take that. I like to duplicate scarabs. So many charges. Why is everything flickering? Uh, epilepsy warning, I guess. What the fuck? Who is doing that, and why do I hate you? Okay, that was too That was too much. Con con that was too much condensed. What I was trying to say is, why are you doing that? I hate you. Why are you doing that? <laughs> and I came out as, why do I hate you? Ugh. Why are words so hard? They need to have, like, meanings and stuff sometimes. Ugh. Yellow Beast. I feel like maybe I want more forbidden tomes than before. Maybe I'm just confused. Uh, sure. Wake and Sextant sounds great. I always use more of those. I've stopped selling mine, and now I'm just using them, like actually using them. I really should be using them anyways, so it's fine. Wretched and a quartz flask. Man, I love being immune to chaos damage. So important, this particular league. Freezing shrine and a diamond shrine. Oh, that's not amazing. Oh boy. This is going to be exciting. There's going to be three map bosses in this ritual. Mergeth Bog Song. Okay, let's see how this goes. Not first of all. Seems I don't really have many spiders anyways, I'll cut them off and done the portal, just in case the worst happens. Yeah. Things are gonna flicker. Yep, they're already flickering. Of course they're already flickering. Oh my god, there is so much happening that I'm my computer is struggling to keep up now. Hey, kill that boss, please. Ooh. Nice, 15,000 favor. I hope that mortal fragment's there. It is not, damn it. Hmm. How much are gifts right now? 12C? Wow. Okay, I'll grab these and reroll. Darn. Oh well.
I'll take the Harbinger's Orb and other such things. Harbinger's Orbs and other such stories. Yes, that's good enough for the map. It's all the really valuable stuff out of it. Okay, what is this worth? This charm is worth 70, apparently. Eh. Put it up for a nice price. And... This. Put this up at 50, why not? I don't care too much if I lose a bit of money on it that I could otherwise have gained. Oh well. Not a big deal to me. Ooh, we have extra Corfine charms now. Let's see, what do we get? Loose effect, darn. Expedition mission. Does that give us... That's worth 10c, that map. How much are exiles worth? Apparently rogue exile maps are worth... 35? That's a lot. I'll do 35. We'll see what happens. And Tormented Spirit maps are worth more as well. They're worth about 20 at maximum. Or like 15, but whatever. More Forbidden Tomes. How much are Tomes worth anyways? Like 5C. I should definitely... I should definitely run some more tomes. Okay, back we go to the King of the Mist. Should we do that? Hmm. Not the huge. No. Yeah, we can. We can probably find another one. Let's see what we we can do. I think I qualityed that map. I yes, I okay. Those are all upgraded. Okay. Northeast is the bus. Southeast. Southeast is a bus. Okay, give me some spiders, will we? How about that? How about spiders? There we go. Okay, southwest. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to be in one of these chaos villages. I might be chaos immune, but not everything they do is chaos, and they suck. This is looking like a wall. Yeah. No, that's nothing. Okay. Let's activate the X-Arch. Okay, done. Sure, give me Orbs of Horizon. Everyone likes Orbs of Horizon. One likes being able to click on the shrine, too. Uh, 
Okay, let's hit this other shrine too. Now I'm invincible. I must. I only have three shrine effects. That means one of them must have been dud. A duplicate. And there we go. Okay. That's good enough. Oh, they must be going for, like, a Cold or Chaos conversion Blade Vortex with the Occultist. Interesting. Let me try that eventually. I've never actually done a Blade Vortex build. It's always seemed really annoying to me to upkeep the blades. And I know people have said, just use Unleash. Well... Yeah. Wait, why am I back in here? I don't need to back in here. Okay, okay grab her off. Need to remember to grab the stagnation maps after this and burn those all. So don't accidentally do any more stagnation maps, because I hate those. Boxes. Eh, tier 11 maps. Stupid projectiles. Southwest. Gonna count that as a wall. And this area is not useful, okay. I wish I could just... I wish there was just, like, an eject button. Just so I can leave immediately. If I'm just done there. That'd be nice. Waken Sextants! How is this? And eh, it's not that many things in here. This might be worth doing. Yeah. New map. I really like how efficient this is. Because <laughs> we're getting money on, like, multiple fronts here. With the King of the Mist, and the random Wildwood stuff. The little bits you get from altars. The eventual uh, 
the eventual incandescent invitations. I don't know if this counts as a wisp event. That is, that probably counts as a wall, though. Okay, southwest. Because there is no northwest. Okay, chittering eggs, sure. I have one form up around me, please. Be my meat shields. Might actually be faster to portal out of the the wild wood, like before it's done. If I know I'm done. Uh, oh. Oh, I thought it would bring me back into the map instead. Okay. I didn't realize you could portal out of the Wildwood and portal back into it. That is new to me. That is new knowledge to me. Shit, I didn't get it. There we go. Okay, now I'm immortal. Let's use up this Immortality Shrine, shall we? I don't have to worry about having too much stuff on the screen. Because I'm mortal from the 20 seconds. Two, one. Please give me the hand. Thank you. And out we go. Unfortunate that these are cor both corrupted 11s. Oh, no, I can get rid of them. Coliseum. Don't tell me how I, I recognize the symbol on it enough to be able to guess what it was immediately, but apparently I've seen enough Coliseums. Let's see... Ooh. Uh, Al Hesman. Sure. Al Hesman is the weakest against me, and I'm strongest against Drox. Just because Drox is physical damage, and that's... I have a lot of protection to physical damage. Actually, no, I don't. Why do I stomp Drox every time? <laughs> oh, I'm going to do something super ill-advised. Let's go into the Wildwood. That's important. Let's see what sort of empowerments we can put on... Al Hasman. What could possibly go wrong? By powering up the snake god. Well, I guess, okay, I guess he's not a snake god. He just thinks he's a snake god. <laughs> how, how is there a warden here and to the north? Hold on. Oh, this is the Primalist. Okay, I was confused. I was very confused. Ah, whatever. 
Nope. Don't want to be lighting up things on the very edges. Be wasting stuff if I don't walk the same path. Gotta step where I stepped before to preserve my light. Aw. That's just, yeah, that's a dud area. Okay. A little bit of juice on Al Hesman. We will see what happened. I'm a bit concerned, but I'm sure it's fine. What could possibly go wrong? He's a chaos build. I'm a chaos inoculation build. I'm really grateful for the fact that the recover recover 5% life on minion death thing exists for other minions cuz every time the every time like a set of my spiders run a duration and die it just absolutely the saves my golems cuz if all of my spiders despawn it's a 100% heal to all my other minions Grand Gripping Grail. Defeat unique monsters with types of wisps in tier 16 maps. What? I'm going to need a better explanation than that. Defeat rare unique monsters with types of wisps in tier 16 maps. Okay. I guess that's fair. Huh. I could probably do level 100 and the the scarab tiers for gripping for grand gripping braille. Hmm. Good to know that's there. Stream of monsters, back up. Chaos orb. Darn it. Aaron Golem died. Okay, Tunnel Trap, where are you? I know you're here. There you are. Famer of the Saints. Now I'm good. Holy shit, I almost didn't make that. I popped my uh, Sulfur Flask for the uh, heal and my Vol Discipline. But I stood in the poison a bit too long. Ooh. I didn't get a chance to check what, uh, what empowerment he got, if any. That's unfortunate. I tried to attack the Phantom Snake for a second. I was like, why can't I mark it? Well, that's because it's not actually there. It's just a spell. That one's there, though. That's a real snake. As opposed to a fake snake. You don't want to get fake snaked. Big friend! 
die. Snack versus Gremlins. Gremlins win again. I guess that's kind of to be expected. They are pretty frickin' strong. Okay. No legendaries. Yeah. Is there just, like, a ton of stuff over here? Kind of like finishing this. The little bits that are left, just because I know some of the... Some of the hunter in Feud, hunter... Whatever it's called, hunter influence stuff is actually quite expensive. That's actually really well rolled. Apparently, this is worth two divine. I can put up for a divine. Why not? Any soft I can throw on this just to make it more valuable. I, mean, I guess I could throw cold res on it, make it a tri res. You know what? People can always put res on it if they want. I'm going to craft something that not everyone has unlocked onto it. Uh, one day. Some stuff away. What you got for me, Kirak? Ooh, additional abyss. Tier 16 abyss maps are worth 49c each. That is crazy, but true. Shrine maps are not worth as much. Okay. Into here you go. What do you have for me? You have a chimera for me. I'll take a chimera. I like chimeras. Oh. Do the wild wood first. Northeast is a dud. Southeast. Hey, yeah, give me some spiders. Okay, I'm gonna call that a wall. Is there not a southwest? There is not a southwest, okay. Northwest. Is there technically a northeast? There might be. I'll go northwest first. Okay, that is definitely a wall. Okay, I'll try the northwest up here then. Lost etching. Nope. Okay. Didn't really get many wisps there, but whatever. Okay, I got an Eldritch. I ate an Eldritch thing with Ravenous, so that will help me against the 
Chimera. I was about to say, only one shrine buff? What's wrong with this? And it's like, oh wait, it's Kayrak mission. We are at 38% when we started this stream. We've got about 32% of a level already. It's pretty good. We have died, so it's pretty awesome that we've still managed to maintain, even though... Let's see. Let's try this. Let's let's see what this is like. This ultimatum. I don't like the buffs expiring faster thing, but the buffs are on me, so that means the offering skill is still. Functional. Oh, profane monsters, good. Propane monsters is something I'm perfect against. Cool, and now Razor Dance. So I'm immune to. Pick blood altar, even though I don't really don't like blood altar. Man, I love corrupting blood immunity. It's so nice. I should see if I can get uh, corrupting blood immunity on one of my jewels, so I can swap out that point to uh, make it so that I can't be. Make it so that I can't have my resistances reduced by curses, then I can do, like, elemental weakness maps and stuff, too. Not that that really matters, but, like, eh, it's, it's something. Need to be careful. Things are starting to get faster. And also they're starting to get tankier. Now I'm actually getting hit. Uh, need to be careful. Nope. Hmm. For the sake of my XP, I'm going to call it that. I don't really want to risk too much XP. I got my 2% for that ultimatum. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I, I tend to have very safe gameplay. I'm sure y'all know that by now. I like playing very safe because... I know I can guarantee a specific amount of return on my investments. And knowing that makes me want to just stick with those investments. Not as exciting, though. I try to take more, more risks on stream than I usually do. Just because I can be kind of, like, boring otherwise. It is exciting, though, I will certainly say that. Camera. Okay. 
Okay, there, we're at 20. This is what I love about the build specifically here. Just just watch just watching what they do right now. This is like the peak efficiency of this build. Is the fact that they can just run around in every direction and clear whatever without me really having to involve myself. They just go wherever the monsters are. Why not Chimera, you're rude. I'm going to move a little bit, though, just in case, because I don't want to get hit by anything stupid. That's the boss. Get back here. Stop playing around. Okay, last monster phase. There are in clouds. And that's gonna be it, yep. Yeah, that wasn't enough wisps to make him too dangerous, apparently. We are going to do one more gamble today. End off the stream. Assuming that there are still people here to watch. <laughs> yes, there are. Okay, one last gamble of the stream. So we have another that which was taken here. They are currently going for... Just to recap it, they're currently going for 9 div and 9 aftiv, and they can be cut they're worth anywhere between 5c and 500 div so their price is highly variable but there's i've, I've checked and there is 10,000 of these that are on the market over 100 div so i know that there's a pretty good chance of getting something really really good so Let's gamble this. We're going to be gambling 10 div here, basically. Let's see if we can get better than 10 div. Through bleeding when you, when you use a flask, attacks against bleeding enemies have a 22% chance to blind, 16% chance to avoid ailments while phasing, war cries grant 5 rage per 5 power when you have less than 25 rage. Oh, that was what N was talking about earlier, probably. Let's see how these things go together. Okay. Bleeding enemies and rage, putting those two together. You get about one div. Rage and elemental ailments, you get about one div. Bleeding enemies and elemental ailments, about half a div. This isn't looking amazing. Are there any exact duplicates of this? No, there aren't. There are some very similar ones, though. Yeah, I think this one is worth even less than the last one we had. Yeah, this is about a div, I think. Aww, that's unfortunate. I thought I could dream. Dream of a brighter future. Nope, that's a div. Oh well. Oh, I tried. 
I saw two things that had bleeding in the in the word on them. I was like, oh, is that valuable? No, it's not. <laughs> Though it is pretty good because if you're phasing, you can avoid elemental ailments and you can cleanse bleeding. So that is good. And the hits against bleeding enemies as well as the war cry stuff does synergize. And there's never a situation where it's bad to have removes bleeding when you're using flask. Yeah, this is a div. That's unfortunate. It sucks that it min-rolled the uh, ailment avoidance, too. That was not good. Aw. Oh, well. Nine div down the drain. But such is life. Okay, so we're just about at the end of the stream now. I want to thank everyone on YouTube for watching. Appreciate you watching the VOD. And if you've made it this long, if you could like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment down below if you have any other ideas for future content. So thank you, and I will see you in the end.